Once upon a time, there was a colony of snails in the land of Snailtopia. One of these snails named Freddy just couldn't seem to fit in. He had always dreamt of adventure and excitement. One day, he finally got up the courage to convince 24 of his friends to go exploring with him. After several days of sailing, they happened upon a little island and decided to make it their new home. They soon discovered to Freddy's delight that the island had a colony of a hundred snails. What Freddy didn't know was that the migration of he and his friends had altered something called the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium on the island. The Hardy-Weinberg law states that allele and genotypic frequencies will arrive at and remain at equilibrium frequencies after one generation of random mating if the genotypic frequencies are p squared plus 2pq plus q squared there's an infinitely large population, there's random mating, and there's no selection, mutation, or migration. And all of these things must be met for it to be Hardy-Weinberg. Snails from Snailtopia and Snail Island can have three different colors. Blue is homozygous recessive, pink is homozygous dominant, and purple is heterozygous. This table shows the genotypes of the snails on the island and of Snailtopia before the migration. Now that we know this, we can calculate the variables that we need. First, we need to find P, which represents the frequency of the dominant A allele in the Snailtopia population. To do this, we do 2 times 800, which is homozygous dominant, plus 150, which is the heterozygous, divided by 2 times 1,000, which is the total. That gives us 0 0.875. Next, we'll find the genotypic array of Snailtopia. To do this, we will take the number of snails of each genotype and divide them by the total number of snails in Snailtopia. We will repeat these last same two steps for the island as well. Now we need to find M, which is the percentage of the new over total population that is from immigrants. Since Freddy migrated with 24 other friends, we find M by doing 100, which is the island natives, plus 25, which is the immigrants, which gives us 125, the total population. Then we do 25 divided by 125, which gives us 20%. This means Snail Island has a migration rate of 20%. Now we need to find the allele frequency of the gametic array on the island after migration. To do this, we do P prime equals one minus M P prime plus M P. This will give us the frequency of the dominant A allele. To find the frequency of the recessive A allele, we do Q prime equals one minus P prime. So our allele frequency after migration is 0 0.315 dominant A plus 0 0.685 recessive A. Finally, we need to find the genotypic frequency of the island after migration. To do this, we do 1 minus M times the allele frequency of the island plus M times the allele frequency of Snailtopia. You repeat this for each genotype. In this picture, you can see the final results from before and after migration of Snail Island. We see that migration has caused the genotypic frequencies to start to change from favoring the homozygous recessive allele to favoring the homozygous dominant allele. In Hardy-Weinberg, the genotype frequencies are stable. It also violates the assumption that no migration is occurring. So here, Hardy-Weinberg is not met. 